Okay, I'm kind of winging this a bit, but let's give it a try, okay? So here's the photos I got from the satellites, okay? And I've tried to get ones around the same day. I couldn't always do this. I've still got to get Anna Yanga for you for the same day. I got one for today. So, okay. So I'm looking for this. First thing I want to do is find the photo with the most cages on, and that's this one for you, okay? So find the photo with the most cages. Not that one. It's not that one. Could be that one. But I like this one because I've got this shape here. So I, you see this one's an odd shape. I got one, two, three. And I know there's another one there on the next image. So look, I can find this here oh i've lost it here you see one two three four then the fifth one a bit further away and the bigger one so i know to rotate this image now and i could rotate it in arcgis after i bring it in i'll just do it now though okay i can rotate this image to be like that yeah and i like that i like that look okay now i gotta find something else in the corners i got this corner and this corner so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine down to that cage one two three four five six seven eight nine ah bingo so i know i got the edges okay and now it's one two three four five with a couple of odd ones these we odd ones there but the fifth one's linear okay one two three four five okay i'm in really good shape here so i know that what that image covers now is basically from about here to here okay right so I found the image with the most ones now i'm going to bring it in okay so let's go to downloads and i think it was 45 wasn't it yeah 45 okay okay so let's get that in don't double click single click if it's multi-band okay <laughs> Right, that's fine error. I can't reference it. We know that. Okay. Now I'm going to go to geo-referencing, right? And fit to display. Okay. Right. Ah, the rotate didn't work anyway. Probably because I forgot to save it, actually. Look, didn't save it. So, so don't worry about that. We can rotate it in here, I think, somehow too. Rotate. Right. I might even be a rotate 90 degrees. An easier way of doing this here we go rotate right there we go okay so now i'm going to grab a control point okay i'm going to stick it on the corner don't worry about the first few okay you just get them close corner new image to old image new image to old image that's a new image turn off that's the old image corner okay right now i'm going to find the bottom right one two three four five okay five bottom corner new image two old image one two three four five and believe it or not this should get you pretty closer okay right now i need more control points fourth one across on this image right to the fourth one across on this image okay and now find another control point from here to a control point on here you see how we're getting closer each time okay now i'm going to zoom in and get some more points right so let's get that one two three four fifth one down okay fifth two one two three four five okay and let's get fourth one one two three four five here notice how i'm trying to get these points well distributed one two three four five on the third row down one two three four five on the third row down doesn't have to be exact okay okay uh wouldn't mind this point either then i'll try and get one in the middle okay And then I'll try and get one more in the middle. Okay. One, two, third, one across, almost spot on. Okay. Go to tr geo referencing, transformation. I'll probably do a second polynomial on this. Okay. Actually, I'm not so happy with how that looks. Let's try a, a adjust. Yeah, I'm more happy with that. Okay. Uh, 
let's try and get this one third one up from the bottom corner third one up from the bottom corner one two three yeah okay third one down the middle it's a lot easier to go faster once you've got a few done third one down the middle and it doesn't have to be exact these cages float right okay now i think maybe if i try a third order let's see <laughs> overfitting that's calling second order yeah now the second order works like i want it to okay now i go to the table and what i do is i find the one with the worst residual okay well, it's in decimal degrees darn it not in meters so it's hard to tell a big number but that's the big number that's the one that's distorting it a lot you see it's got an extra decimal place there it's better if you do this in a state plane or something you know or in utm i should say then i think you can just delete that somehow right right click i don't know how to delete anymore so long since i've done this ah, because it's a second order polynomial i may have to add another point or two before i can delete okay so let's keep going where well, i don't have a good one there i don't have one there too well should be so close now i hardly need to measure right just little tiny shifts at this point okay find the big distortion one again hit the delete key there you go okay that's probably gonna mess up the second order but just do a transformation let's try and adjust looks pretty, still not happy about that we need to get let's try a similarity polynomial Oh, let's see how that looks off on and i see what i've done wrong now nine and five are no good those two have got the wrong ones that's why it's twisting so much so nine of, okay and five i was off a row okay oh, that looks much better doesn't it and it's just a case of trial and error you keep going you know uh. yeah that still looks the best so let's give it another shot that one's got four uh, let's get another shot to get this one okay that should actually i think have been more around here let's see how that distorts it ah, that's better isn't it and again it won't be perfect one two one two three four five six on that row one two three four four yeah that's not bad we can take that so okay and we'll stick with that adjust method okay definitely seems the best to me third three and th three and three okay three and three oh look it's almost right on when that happens you almost don't have to do anything go back see if there's any real bad ones that are just way way off the others okay does not like point these two point four so let's just give that a delete always go back and add them <coughs> there's another little tool that's pretty useful here uh, customize toolbars I think it's called display it used to be called display no, I can't find it maybe effects yeah okay swipe watch swipey the fox I've probably use this it's been a while since I used it but so let's do geo referencing fit to display update geo referencing right and look oh no that's, that's on the wrong layer it should be on ep that's why there we go swipey the fox you see and look it's close enough i'm happy with that okay <laughs> now you're going to geo reference the image to the right that i missed this bunch off okay so i'm just trying to get them all that way now watch what happens when i add the image now that one image adds in the right place okay 45 okay 
There you go. Now you can digitize those. Good luck.